Hey YouTubers, gamers, 40k players, Silver Skull Gamer here. I just finished um, a batch of infantry models. Just com completed the bases and finally got some uh, weathering pigment on their legs and bases. And I uh, figured I'd show them off because. I really haven't done much Silver Skull videos, and that's the name of my channel. So, um, let's kind of see if we can pan around, just get you an idea of what I got. That's the bulk of them. Um, some of the guys on the edges need some touch ups. They're not quite finished yet, but basically this bulk of troops is done. Um, you can see the green tactical arrows. I freehanded all those, and no, they're not perfect. But I think you know the only way to get better at something is to do it. So I just did it, and. Uh, you know, for tabletop army and this being my first painted Space Marine army, I think it's all right. Um, I know one guy said one time that you know he his thing was well the Space Marines his Space Marines painted uh, would paint their own iconography on their armor, so of course it wouldn't be the same. So it's like ah, oh, sounds pretty good. <laughs> But um, I like the green. I like the way the green contrasts with the all metallic armor. Um, here's an old metal model. So I did the uh, the green tactical arrow and the knee pad, and that's from either third edition or second edition. I still have one of the older codexes, Space Marine Codex, and it has the Silver Skulls in there. And uh, they have knee pads and uh, shoulder icons colored. Um, uh, and I think that does, does a pretty good job of breaking up all the metallic on metallic paint scheme. Um, some of the, I tried to do the bolters, the edge highlighting. A lot of them I screwed up. You can see how much gray is on top of this, on top of that one. You know, um, that edge highlighting kicks my butt. I tried doing the lines on the shoulder pad that I've seen done before, like a highlight on the inner edge there. Some of them turned out okay, some of them are crappy, and some models I just skipped. I started skipping it because. I didn't think it was. I thought the lack of skill was actually detracting from the model, um, as I think a lot of the bolter paint jobs turned out. The the sloppiness of the lines, it, you know, even though the models didn't really have any highlights, it probably would have looked better if I just left them alone. But you know, we'll see. I, I do like. Um, I like what I chose for basing, uh, simple, um, going for like a Mars, you know, um, you know, a true alien planet, you know, um, you know, the red planet. I really like the kind of the Mars red dirt and dust. I think that the bases really help the model stand out. It contrasts really well. Here's my captain. Um, he's all right. Comedy plaz. I love these Max Mini uh, shoulder pads you get from the uh, what? What does he call it? The Skull Tribe Champion Conversion Kit or something. Comes with these shoulder pads. I think this helmet. And like a uh, um, a, 
like a chaplain's mall kind of thing or crozius almost so I really like these shoulder pads they look pretty awesome this is just your regular captain body now this is a max mini resin skull here trophy on the captain and it's left painted silver because the normally once the silver skulls collect the trophy they dip them in silver so this is one that obviously he carries with him he's had it dipped and actually I missed a uh, purity seal on the inside I don't even know if you can see that but I'm not, I, you know who's gonna see that screw it uh, the cape is okay one layer of highlights I'll try to get some dust on the bottom of it I don't know how well that actually looks But, eh, you know, um, all my sergeants have the Max Mini. They're not, they're not really bulky enough to be true helmets if you compare the size. So I think they're just really just face masks. This is what you have to say they are. They just don't have the bulk to really fit a head in there and provide armor. So I think it's more of a tribal... You know, just a face mask. But um, now all these skulls on the base are actually secret weapon miniatures skulls. They're metal. Uh, they did not come on any sprues, which was a huge pain in the butt because uh, you had to hold these little tiny skulls in between your fingers and try to file them down, get the mold lines off. Actually, if you can see here. I still have some left over. You know, there's broken open skulls. There's skulls. Now, I don't. I don't think any of them have a lower jaw on them, but it's kind of a good variety. I think they add to the battlefield look. You know, he puts a couple skulls on there. Um, these do need to be varnished. Like I said, they're not perfect. As I was going through, I noticed some little things like a couple of these guys. I didn't paint the uh, joints black, but at this point I was like, screw it. I'm, I want to move on. So all these guys are done. Um, some of the guys on the outside, like these Devastators, he needs some more detail work. Doesn't have anything on the scroll. This guy needs a lot, not a lot of detail work. He needs the tubes, tubes to his multi-melted painted. He needs that painted. So I just, I, I want to move on. I've got other projects. You guys have seen from unboxings. You know, I'm working on the uh, Land Raider Ares, which now I think may be better as a Typhon siege tank from the Horse Heresy era. But since I don't own that book, it'll be a Land Raider Ares for now. And maybe you can, you can do both. Um, and I have my tank combo pack from Blood and Skulls Industries still awaiting for me to start on my Bane Blade, which will be a, turn into a uh, Fell Blade. So I just wanted to get these guys done, move on. So I did overlook some. Uh, some minor mistakes and stuff because I just want to move ahead I'll be stuck on these guys forever they're never gonna be showcase quality so you know why get stuck on that stuff so like I said um, finally got to, wanted to do a silver skull video of my actual silver skulls so this is them I'm laughing at myself because I'm doing hand gestures behind the camera that you guys can't see. You know, it's like doing hand gestures when you're doing radio or something. But, uh, so, I hope you guys like them. Um, I think the basing, I'm not going to put any static grass. Like I said, I think I kind of like the Mars, you know, the barren planet, the red dust, some skulls from battle. Um, 
These are the steampunk weapons from Max Mini. I think they're pretty dang awesome. I do say so myself. And I don't know if I've mentioned before in my videos, but don't buy the Terminator Honors pads from Games Workshop because they're so old. As you can see, the rims of the shoulder pads are not even equal. Like this, this shoulder pad is so much smaller. Then now this is a metal shoulder pad also, but it's a much newer pad, so it matches up with the plastic pads. Um, here, where's the guy with both? Okay, so this is actually a metal pad on this guy. This is a plastic pad, and you can see that the metal pad it doesn't. It's not perfect because the edging is actually a little thicker, but just looking at it, it looks like it matches. These Terminator Honors pads are terrible. The detail's not even that great. They're too small, and they look way out of place. I mean, just look how tiny that looks compared to the other pad. So, don't order the, uh, I'm sure they're fine cast now, but don't order those shoulder pads. They're awful. Don't do it. Okay, this is dragging out. Just wanted to show you guys that I am still alive. I am working on my silver skulls. Um, so, yep. Uh, leave some feedback. Thanks.